fighters for the featherweight and cumulative championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Rhino Waterford, weighing in at 65.8 kgs, it's Kevin Kehoe! And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing FAI, weighing in at 65.6 kg, it's James Also, little known obscure Andrew McGahan related fact for you. I was a paid extra in a movie named Good Vibrations, which is a movie about Terry Hooley, uh, who had something to do with the undertones or a record shop in Belfast or something. Anyway, it was filmed in Dundalk in the spirit store, and they got us to smoke herbal fags and drink non-alcoholic pints. I had to do that on the set of, um, what's that, not Love Hate. And rip off ashes. of Love Hate. I had to sm chain smoke cigarettes in a funeral scene. It was brutal. Not real ones, though. No, no, no. Yeah. But there was quite a lot. Kev and Kyo in here trying to connect the hands, and these two guys in the co-main event this evening. Uh, Jesus, Stefan, don't be Googling that. Search Good Vibrations Dundalk, and then you'll find it. Tenth amateur fight for Kevin Kyo. Fourteenth for James Slavin. Two experienced competitors here, and... Slavin's been in there. He's got wins over Nathan McGillian, Ryan Kelly, Paddy Moran. Joe's been in there with Vlad Stanka, uh, Munro Kerr, and Aidan Fagan on his win list. So, Katie Bradshaw should take notes from that foot stomp. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, more impactful than all of her ones put together. There, there was a bit of malice in that one. trained with Kevin a bit now he's been down to uh, Team Rhino HQ with us and moved around a bit together and rolled together and things like that and you know he's when he puts it together he's a very very difficult guy to deal with I like his striking style he's a really interesting south pod the inside leg kick I was just about to mention but he took the words out of my mouth Did, have, have we big big crowd here for James Slavin. Yeah, huge. He's got a lot of fans right behind us. Nice entry there by Kyo. Beautiful turn of the corner. When we've seen Kyo recently, did you tell me that his debut was many, many years ago and he took a bit of time off? No. Or am I thinking of someone You're else? You're thinking of someone else. Okay. We did commentate on him fighting against uh, Tiernan Lochran uh, last year in a title fight. Correct. In the Euro, and it was a really impressive performance. He was in there as a massive underdog and he really put it up to Tiernan and caused some problems. Was Tiernan fighting today or weighing in today? Sunday he's fighting, yeah. So tomorrow he's on LFL over in uh, over in Holland, I believe. And, uh, looking Actually, to go Paul, that's uh, offensive. The Netherlands. Correct. Yes. Oh, lovely straight left there. Kyo finding a home for some of his shots. And Slavin just... Feeling a bit flat on his feet a little there in some of those exchanges, maybe. Nice entry. Ten second clacker goes. I think Kyo will be happy with his opening round here, Andrew. Yeah, great timing onto that double leg, but Slavin just was really, really aware of it. Able to kind of turn to cut the angle with it, which is what allowed him onto the guillotine. Featherweight title on the line here as we go into round number two. Strong opening stanza from Kevin Kyo, and there's that inside leg kick, it's one of his favorite weapons. Slavin sliding, or swinging just past the chin. Kyo's managing the distance very well here. Ooh, with a shot to the body, there's a left hand by Kyo, beautiful work. Referee Gar Lyons with the best footwork of the night there. I call him Gareth Hall earlier on by mistake. I think you did, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Gareth. Didn't correct you either, just let it hang. Yeah, it's all right. Now nah, we're understanding why. <laughs> That's a famous Belfast meme, sorry. Super shot across the cage, Kevin Kyo, but trying to connect and pull. 
trying to reap and pull that back knee out from underneath the base of Slavin, who stands very well. He's got a narrow base here, though. A vulnerable position. There he goes, making a bit of room. Big knee to the body. This is a real dogged scrap between the two guys here, like what Kyo did there. I no, continue, please, Paul. My bad. Oh, there is a, he used a couple of shots to then reshoot the takedown, a couple of punches to, uh, to, to hide it, you know? I wouldn't have described it in as colourful language as the punter over my left shoulder here from the crowd about the current physical state of Kevin Kyo, but uh, Slavin does seem to be growing in confidence as the fight's going on here. Yeah, Kyo trying to hit the switch here, but Slavin has good control over his hips. Kyo wants to do, you can see the way he's lacing that left arm through, he wants to switch his hips through and he manages it, but the back is exposed, he didn't complete the, the transition. You need to think both shoulders away from your partner here, scoot your hips out towards us. You're fine, don't worry about hitting once, just get both shoulders to the ground. James is going to now likely come up on top from this position. He has a good chance if he can wrap the, wrap the left arm around the body. He's connecting the hands nicely now. His back has gotten some doing from that cage as well. Yeah. Or maybe he's been on holiday recently, I'm not sure. But the right-hand side of James' back. Maybe he turned over in the sunbed, Andrew. <laughs> exactly, Browner. That could be it. What, for those unfortunate enough to have joined us for the last eight hours, you will get that reference yeah. from about six hours ago. But We've been setting sorry. that one up since about 4 yeah. ten. <laughs> Fortunate enough, I should say. Good grip here by Kevin Kyo on the arm, but maybe he's exposing his back a it's little. It's a lovely set out. It's a really, really nice set out. You know, I'm just saying from the, I love these positions from a jiu-jitsu perspective. I know from MMA, the battle is getting towards top. Both of these guys are above their level. Do you know what I mean? In, in some of these positions, compared to what we've seen tonight on display, that is incredible, uh, some of the transitions there. The nuances involved in those positions, they're like juggling, Paul, they're like juggling. Yeah, Connor, uh, Connor from uh, the streaming team at Virtus, he found it for me and brought it back ah, to me. Ah, spit it out, here's the third round. Here we go. I think could be one all. Oh yeah, absolutely, it's, it's hanging in the balance, I think. The left hand of Kevin Kyo has been one of the more impactful weapons of the fight, and he's He's timing it really well when Slavin goes to enter into the exchanges. Every time Slavin tries to throw, that left hand is just catching him on the entry. Like that. But we saw Slavin have real good success there in the grappling, and he's looking to just close the distance, isn't he, and get a hold of Kyo here. Even though the shots that Kyo has landed at this point in the fight uh, of the third round, not necessarily massively impactful. Incredibly accurate. Yeah. And of a good volume. I spoke to Kevin Kyo's coach earlier on this evening before the, the fights and Bobby Mead. He was in agreement with me that these guys are ridiculously well matched. It was a great test. And that's what amateur is about. Just get in there with the guys who are really going to push you. And see how your skill set stacks up. I'm liking what I'm seeing here from Kevin Kyo, really good control. I don't like that wrist grip he had because it's a, the upside down C grip, it's a little weak and he lost it. and talk here in the third it both is, guys we're uncharacteristically a little bit quiet here watching this because you're nearly trying to add up and total the strikes that you're seeing and who's reacting a little bit more and you know a minute ago i'm thinking kyo's cruising to a win here yeah and then a minute later i'm thinking james has come back nicely in the last minute here Again, using that upside down C grip, it's not, not a very strong, assured grip, and you lose it so easily if your opponent just turns the hand. Both guys battling a bit of exhaustion, but they're still 
pushing the pace. It's a big shot there by Slavin there. The Kiao trying to return fire, but misses narrowly. Almost there. 20. It's going to be interesting to see the scorecards. Yeah, yeah. knife edge stuff, to be honest. Uh, I would hazard a guess that Kyo won the first and third. Right on the edge this third round, though, yeah. I'd yeah. be with you and agree. I'd be in agreement with you. Yeah. There we go. Title fight. Very, very impressive performance from both guys. Kyo was confident he got the win. Let's Ooh, see. Ooh, Team Rhino friends. Yeah.